Hello and welcome back all my Dragon Ball theorists. There is one trend that has been consistent in the tournament up to the very end. The only reason anyone stayed in the tournament is because Jiren has allowed it. His power has been unquestioned from the beginning and in reality he could have easily eliminated everyone from the start and just been done with it winning the tournament and getting his wish. However, he took on more of a role of only to be there for the difficult opponents if needed. This is why after defeating Hit, he looked right at Goku stating that and began to meditate confirming that he won't be beat. So why has Jiren acted this way? Why didn't he just go full power from the start and blow everyone out of the ring? It was said to be a mistake that Jiren left Goku in the tournament, but what if this isn't the case and just all a part of his plan? What if Jiren wants to actually see Goku's full potential? From the moment Goku attained Ultra Instinct Omen, Jiren has been intrigued and seemed to notice that heat and Goku's limits, but still even then, he didn't eliminate him. Is it cause of curiosity to see what drives Goku, or something else more selfish? Jiren has a plan and that is why he is there. It isn't just because Universe 11 needs him. He came for the Super Dragon Balls, but what if somehow Goku now is part of this plan and he has been pushing him to surpass his limits again and again to become stronger? There is a saying, it definitely is lonely at the top, and even before Goku awakened Ultra Instinct again, Jiren decided to beat him down instead of just going for a finishing blow. There were plenty of opportunities where Goku was in his base form for Jiren to just finish the job, except he didn't. He dragged it out to the very end hoping for Goku to awaken his powers again. And he definitely didn't disappoint, that's our Goku. Jiren has never trusted anyone and believes in only absolute power. Goku wants to fight the strongest opponents which drives him and it is etched into his core. It was inevitable these two would meet in the final battle, but Jiren sees something in Goku and that is the reason why he is still in there. Jiren knows that if he keeps pushing Goku, he would finally fully attain Ultra Instinct and perhaps a power that can rival his. This is something Jiren has dreamed about, a true fight where he doesn't hold anything back and can finally be tested, which in reality, that isn't so different from Goku, is it? I think Jiren sees a lot of himself in Goku and his quest beyond strength, we will see the true reasons why Jiren kept Goku in the tournament, why he has decided to not eliminate him, and why Jiren was supposed to win all along. Since Dragon Ball Super is ending, it is fitting we had these two fighters at the absolute best fighting to protect their universe, although Jiren and Goku initially had have the same motive, to fight the strongest. Jiren wants one last test perhaps to see if he is worthy and no one can test him like Goku. So regardless of who wins, maybe the work of the gods ends here. Although there is no mistaking it, that Jiren has been hoping for this moment. Is his absolute power enough? Well now I want to hear from you, who do you think will win this epic fight? Do you think Jiren has been secretly training and pushing Goku to constantly surpass his limits? Is this a mistake or is everything going to Jiren's plan? I always love to hear your theories in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe and turn on that notification bell to keep those theories coming.